Welcome back. For this video, I decided I would do the blue challenge. I saw Nikki Tutorials do her green monochromatic and I was like, wow, I have to do that, but with a blue. Now, there is a lot of other colors I want to try, so if there's one in particular, let me know. But if you want to see how I did this blue starting from absolutely nothing, I had no idea what I was going to do, if I was going to do glitter, what kind of lip, I didn't really know what lash to pop on. I was struggling a little bit with the lips, but if you want to see how I got this entire look, then just keep watching. So, for this challenge, I'm going to be doing, I would, I'm calling it the blue challenge. I don't really know what it's called. I just know I saw Nick Tutorials doing her like green eyeshadow, green lipstick, like green everything kind of vibe. So I was like, wow, for some reason I really want to do that. Not so much with purple, because you know I love purple, but with blue, I feel like I don't really push my boundaries and I don't really step out of that comfort zone and experiment with blue. I actually own quite a bit of blue things, like blue highlighter, some blue glitters, blue lipsticks, believe it or not. Like, what? So today, that's all I'm going to be doing is experimenting with blue, kind of figuring out a crazy eye look. I got some glitter in there, some glitter everywhere. Like, I'm going to go all out with blue. I have some Morphe palettes with a lot of blue eyeshadows in there as well. I'm really excited to see what I come up with because I feel like it's really going to just help my creative juices up here just start to flow. So I already have my brows done. I'm going to go in with a little bit of tape. I usually put it on the back of my hand. That way it's not so sticky under my eye. But I really like this. That way it gives us the perfect sharp line. So I already carved out my brows and I'm just using some more of that concealer to set, or not to set, but to create a base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using really bright blues today, so I really want them to pop. Cover up that redness right there. I really want them to pop. So I'm definitely using this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I love this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye because it creates like the most perfect base. I know I've already said that before, but I've been using this for almost a year now and I love it. I used to use my Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't know, I feel like this one's a little bit thicker and I feel like this one's a little bit more sticky and like thicker, so that's why I feel like I like this one a little better. I feel like the eyeshadows really adhere to this one. Now I would usually go in with some sort of translucent powder or like a face powder or some kind of eyeshadow that's like my skin tone to set that concealer so when I try to blend my eyeshadows they blend like really easily. But because I'm going to be using like neon bright colors, I'm only going to be setting like a little bit higher up than my crease. That way when I apply a transition color that one will blend, but my entire lid I'm going to leave very sticky. That way as I pack on the blues it'll really pop. So today, one of the palettes I'm going to be using is the Morphe 35B. This one is awesome if you're looking for some color in your life. Literally has just about every color you could possibly need. I'm going to go in with these three um, to really enhance the blue. And make it so I went ahead and did this eye first because I feel like I couldn't explain what I was doing and trying to also think of my next steps. So all I did on this eye was I set it with a cream colored base just on the top and I went in with my Hoola bronzer doo -doo -doo, Hoola bronzer and just added a little bit of some, some transition in there because that way the blue wouldn't like be so hard to blend out. I left my crease pretty sticky that way when I apply the brighter blues I want them to pop. The first color I went in with was this blue right here from the Morphe 12P. I think it's called like their Picasso palette. And I went in with a Sigma E40. And I just gently put this all over my crease. A little bit lower than where I put that Hoola bronzer. And I kind of pack it on first, then blend it out. And in the actual socket right here, I'm applying some pressure. And then, with no more product, I wipe some off on my towel. Very light pressure. I use a little bit 
of what's already on my crease to just blend that out. And literally guys, I'm using like the softest touch. It's almost like ticklish <laughs> because it's, I'm like barely applying pressure. Then I'm gonna just take another brush this is the stila number no. nine brush it's just a tapered blending brush with no product on there i'm just going to blend out those outer corners then i'm just going to take my sigma e40 again some of that same blue and repeat that step until it gets a slightly bit brighter I'm focusing this mainly in the socket and if I do happen to accidentally go out a little very soft pressure. Now I'm going to go in with this Lancome number 17 blending brush and I'm going to go in with this blue right here from the Morphe 35B palette. It's just a little bit of a brighter like cobalt blue. Now I'm going to focus this lower than where I put that other shadow. And if it gets a little bit on your lid, that's okay. Don't worry about it because we're going to put glitter and stuff over the lid anyway. Now I'm going to take that same Stila brush, dip it a little bit into my Hoola bronzer, dust the excess, and lightly blend out the outermost corners. Very lightly, I'm barely applying any pressure. Just blending all that out. That's gonna give you that perfect gradient effect. I feel like people always struggle with that and that's all it is. It's just blending and blending and blending and blending and blending and never ending. <laughs> okay. Now, I, since my base is already a little bit sticky, I don't really need to add anything to my lid and I'm not necessarily cutting the crease. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's almost the same as the one I just used, except this one has like shimmer to it. So that's going to kind of add some shimmer into the eye look so it's not just flat and matte. And that one I'm just focusing all on the lid. It's actually like pretty pigmented. I was pretty shook. I was like, oh, she is shooken. That is insane. It's really pretty. Now that I laid that down, I think I'm going to go in with just one more layer and really pack it on the center of the eye. I really want this to be like super bright blue. So I'm just adding that onto the center. Now to add the glitter, I'm going to first go in with this Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the color Amp. It's just like a really pretty like metallic blue and like silver glitter. It's, like a, it's a glitter liner, but I like using this as my base. So I just kind of very messily dab this all over my eye. And this already creates like a really pretty, like a glittery effect, but we know jewels and we like to be extra. So we just add a tiny bit of glitter on top. And you do want to work a little bit fast because this does dry pretty quickly. So as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with this glitter called Sea Ice. It's like a really pretty, like, almost matches my eye exactly. I get mine at bulkglitters.com. All of these little jars <clears throat> are either a dollar or 50 cents, something like that. They're super cheap. I love them because, like I said, they're just cheap and they're fun and I'm able to buy every single color to experiment with. And they're eye safe. I make sure I get like the cosmetic ones. And I just pat a little bit of that kind of all over the lid. Very sporadically though, I don't want it to like clump together. And then I just like feather it and then feather it out here. Next I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller, more like detailing brush and deepen up that crease. 
I'm now going to go in with this Morphe M514. It's just like a really tiny detailing brush. And I'm going to go in with this really dark blue right here. It's like a very indigo, like, navy blue. So I'm going to go in with that navy blue color and just deepen up the crease. Just a tiny bit. Mainly focusing it in the outer corner. And then without dipping back into the product, just defining the crease a little bit. Very light pressure. I don't want it to be too dark. I want to stay within like that bright theme. I'm going to take that Lancome blending, blending, blending brush one more time. No product. And I'm just going to blend out these edges right here. Now back in with that small detailer brush and one last time really defining that crease. And then just adding the tiniest bit more to this outer corner. Just to really give it depth. Then I'm taking a tiny bit right on the outside of this glitter to kind of blend the glitter into the color. So the glitter doesn't just like stop. So now I'm going to take the tape off and work on the eyeliner. So now that the tape has given us that really sharp shape, I was going to go in with just black liner, which you could see that I did, but right when I got to like right here, I was like, no, 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 girl, what you doing? So I actually couldn't find any blue eyeliner. So I took my blue liquid lipstick, put some on the back of my hand, and I'm actually going to go in with like a eyeliner brush and I'm going to do blue liner first. Then I'm going to do a very thin black one over it so it almost looks like I'm wearing wrong way jewels. So it almost looks like I'm wearing like two lines of eyeliner. So now that I have the blue liner down, I actually like love just the blue liner itself. But because of all the other blue, you couldn't really see it. So I am going to go in with a very thin black line. I'm just going to go in with an eyeliner brush and my Maybelline gel liner. So see how it's kind of like a blue liner, then a black liner, and it kind of just looks like two lines. Really cool, I know. Takes forever, but in the end it ends up looking really good. So I'm just going to do some little tweaks here and there, pop on some lashes, do the rest of my face, and I'll be back to work on the bottom lash line. And maybe add some blue glitter somewhere, we're not sure. But I'll be right back and we'll finish up. Okay, now that I have my whole face done without my lips done, I look a little weird. But I'm going to go in with this Lorac Limelight Blue Highlighter. And I'm just going to take it on a fan brush. And hopefully it looks pretty. Whoa. different. It's different. I'm just going to bring a little bit down on my nose. Oh, that looks a little weird. I have a blue line down my nose. This is actually pretty. Like, I thought it was going to look a little weird, but it's pretty. I look kind of alienish, but I like it. I don't know if I like it down my nose. I'm not even going to lie. I don't think you could really tell on camera, but in person, it looks like a blue line down my nose, so I would maybe skip it down your nose, but everywhere else, I'm actually going to pop some in the inner corner as well. Really pop that in there. Now for lipsticks, I have quite a couple options. This one I think might be too teal, more on the green side. I do have this lip liner that I'm going to use to line my lips. And I actually think I'm going to go in with this color by NYX, the Macaroon Lippy in shade 04 Blue Velvet. I feel like that might be the one. So let's hope that it is because it looks like it. By the way, these are the Coco Lashes in the style Amore. I love these lashes. Like these are va va boom when you are wearing a very dramatic eye, but you still want your lashes to be even more like bam. These are bomb. They're not your everyday lash, I'll tell you that. And like really late at night, if I'm really, really tired, I like have to take them off because they're kind of heavy on my lid, but beauty is pain, girls. It's not painful, it's just like damn. So my lips kind of look a little bit weird. I'm going to add a slightly bit darker color to kind of give it some definition in like the outer corners or something. And I totally forgot about my lash line. So let me finish my lips, then I'll come back so we can do the bottom lash line. 
Okay, so this is the best I could do on the lips. For some reason, those two formulas weren't really working, so I just did a little bit of a dark blue in the outer corner. Now for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna go in with that same blue called Electric Blue by NYX. That's one thing, I don't really know of other brands other than like NYX and like Kat Von D that make crazy color lip liners. I know maybe Makeup Forever might, but yeah, so I have a lot of the NYX ones. I'm gonna use that same, it's actually an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. I'm gonna go in and line my lash line, my water line, I mean. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of my Hoola again and just add a little bit of a transition color down here. We don't want it to be too harsh, so the Hoola is gonna help it really blend seamlessly and not like a blue line. Now with that same little Morphe Picasso palette, I'm gonna go in with this like cobalt blue and really smoke out the bottom. Now with the same little brush I'm using, this came in like my naked palette, like a little mini naked palette. I'm just gonna go in with no excess powder and just blend out the outer corner, the outer edge. I didn't know my camera stopped recording, Ugh, so annoying. But all I did was go in with that like cobalt blue color on my bottom lash line. Then I took a very small detailer brush with this darker blue to define the kind of like lower lash line. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Glitter Liner and just put a little bit under my bottom lash line to give it a little bit of a pop. And I really think it kind of brought the look together. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to just do a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. It's good. But yeah, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a challenge, but it was fun getting to pull out all my blue makeup and kind of seeing what all I have, what all I could do, and just like how fun I could make this. And since there's a bunch of other colors, if there's a color you want to see me do, let me know. I'm kind of thinking of doing purple next, maybe pink, maybe yellow, maybe orange. Who knows? Which color will I do next? Well, let me know. This is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really, really fun for me. I loved playing with all the blue. I feel like I don't wear it enough. I actually used to wear this lip color a lot in the Bay. I wore it to a Wiz Khalifa concert and it was really fun. Everybody said they liked it. So I should start wearing it more often. This really gets me back into the groove of using fun colors. I feel like makeup is fun. That's what it's for. It's to have fun and experiment with and do what you want to do. Like if you want to wear this color lipstick out in public, look it, do it. Who cares? Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Oh no. Why would I do that? Jules. I fixed it. Okay. Oh shit. It was on my nail. Ugh. Anyways. Okay. I look like the little Spongebob. I love this It Cosmetic. I love this It Com... Can't you talk? I love this It... should have painted my nails blue to make this look even cooler but I failed the one job I had I failed but I set down set that down oh cool the front <laughs> now that I've set that it's like 7 30 a.m. right now guys <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Julie, get it together. <laughs>